Hi guys, it's Becky and John here from Parks Travel Guide and we are currently in Parma. That's right, we're just here for the day. We don't really know where we're going, we're just going to have a walk around, mm. see what we can find, see what Parma has to offer. Yeah, kill some time before we have to head off to the airport and unfortunately go home. So we're not alone today, we do have two friends with us and two fellow subscribers of Parks Travel Guide. We've got Nathan here. Hi guys. We've got Adele over here. So Nathan, whereabouts are we now? So we're just walking down uh, in towards the Old Town area where we're going to walk down towards the cathedral and there's some lovely views down there over Palmer Harbour and uh, some fantastic scenery. So we're going to go have a walk down there, lovely little place to walk. Cool, so we will see you there guys. Trying to do me out of a job. <laughs> This spells trouble. Back is shopping. So we're just walking down one of these streets now and it, it reminds me of a cross between the old town in Benidorm, one of the side streets, and a bit of Barcelona as well. It really is unique and, and great. And we just had somebody wave, but it was waved to, to the wrong side at camera. Palmer really is a magnificent city. Lots of streets like rabbit runs, holding everything from local shops to big high street chains. It really is difficult to pick a direction to go in, but every street you turn down holds something new. You can't turn down a street in Palmer without coming across a cafe. These in the most popular places though are ones to avoid if you're really tight on money, because they will cost you the most. After exploring the streets of Parma, we finally made it to the cathedral and wow, it was stunning. The architecture and the views were just unreal. It's definitely one not to miss when you visit Parma. So as vloggers, we also double up as professional photographers. Available for hire. <laughs> right, it's now half past one in the afternoon and we are on the search for some tapas. Off the beaten track, we came across Bar España, which turned out to be one of the most highest rated tapas restaurants in Parma. A lot of the tapas was pre-prepared, but you could order from the main menu too. With prices averaging three euros, it was definitely for people on a budget. We ordered a selection of 10 tapas dishes between us all, including wine, and it came to a little over 15 euros per person, which is great for anyone traveling on a budget. Something quirky about this restaurant was that people had put coins in old cracks in the walls. So obviously I couldn't leave without putting one in myself. So that was really, really good. If you're in Parma, you need to find this place out. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was really good food, really authentic, which sometimes you struggle a lot with the restaurants around here, especially some of the, in the tourist traps. You need to find authentic stuff. And that was really authentic, but that was really good. Back Street is best. Back Street is best. It's lovely down by uh, this bit of water here by the cathedral. There's a cafe over at the back. I think we're probably going to go have a drink. Don't know how much it's going to be, but we'll tell you. So, would we recommend that place, Guinness House? No. Uh, service were pretty poor, given the prices that they charged. I forgot a coffee, and then we waited about a quarter of an hour, they still didn't bring it. So I went over to get it, and just a bit of a mess really, but I guess that's the uh, price you pay. Well, we thought we'd have a walk along the marina, and have a look at boats that we can, well, we'll never be able to afford. Uh, not in this lifetime anyway. Not unless people get subscribing and liking and helping us out. And then, if you do, and we get a yacht, we might even invite you on it. So we've just gone to the gelato shop. I've got some Kinder ice cream. So it was €3.50 for a tub. Oh, that is amazing. Slightly overpriced, but we are in Parma, but really good ice cream. So unfortunately, that's it, guys. It was a very brief visit to Parma, but we hope you've enjoyed this and found a bit of useful information for your visit to Parma. See you next time.